Kristen's pregnant. He likes to, he really loves to, like, shock people because he thinks it's funny. No, no, no. I, we've actually had this company. He's having the baby because I can't, I'm too, I mean, imagine a baby coming out of this thing. I mean, like, that's just not going to happen. So you're going to have the baby. Yeah, yeah. You probably shouldn't do this, right? <laughs> Obviously, you get recognized every, everywhere you go. There's a lot of talk, of course. I know you guys don't like to talk about your relationship and the, and the personal relationship and all that stuff. So, Taylor, what's going on with these two? <laughs> I, I, I wish I could tell. Uh, oh, man. I feel bad because I don't feel like kissing you. You don't want to kiss me, do you? Uh, well, I mean, it's been a long time, and I, I think maybe we should finally go for it. I, mean, I don't think. Really? I just think it's there's someone else in the audience, so I just think we'll appreciate it a little more. And I just want to do it. In fact, no, no, I think no, no. I, I think I know he will. Go get him, honey. Go get him. <laughs> this is mine. What? I want to take you backstage. <laughs> been, uh, I'm saying the exact same things as you. They've been, they've been it's the balcony? What am I talking about? The honeymoon. For some reason I have balcony in my head. Why do this baby? You bit the baby? Yeah. That's so head. weird. I didn't actually like, right. like touch it. But, like, it's, it's kind of a funny picture. It's the baby's so young his entire head fits in my mouth. <laughs> I'm sure that's not true. <laughs> you, <laughs> you finally, you get together, you get married, you have a, a, a baby. Baby. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Baby. Baby. It's a baby. It's a baby. <laughs> yes. It's a baby. And uh, and now, how was that scene to shoot? Was that uh, awkward? Was it like you're just so used to being around the crew and everybody that it's not that big of a deal? The baby delivery. Or no, the baby no, no. Making? The, the baby making scene. Uh, it. Uh... Because I heard that, that it had to be recut because uh, you went crazy or something. You, you went, <laughs> didn't you? Didn't you just kind of go into like it, it was steamy for anybody? <laughs> no, yeah, I lost it. I totally you lost, lost it. it with my mic. Yeah, um, no, I didn't. Robert, they want to know, were you happy to be rid of the contacts? Yeah. What? Were you happy to I, be... The birth thing was actually, I think it was the most difficult because I, I didn't want to stop shooting it. I just kept wanting to push it further. <laughs> um, the next step was finding this guy. Take it from there. <laughs> Kristen doesn't have any idea what she's doing at all. So I mean, it's always. I think he's really handsome. <laughs> <laughs> is that, that he's writing stuff and thinks of you for possibly being one of his scripts. Any chance you guys will work together again? Oh, dude, we will work together again. <laughs> yeah. I, I... News down here at Comic Con. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, I think we could be so. I mean, like, I, I and I'm and I'm not being coy or anything. It's just that sometimes I have a few actors that I've worked with before that I'm like, dude, we need to we need to keep doing this together, and he's definitely one of them. Any truth to the rumor that you're writing a script for Kristen to star in? Maybe. I'm trying to write stuff all the time, yeah. <laughs> but um, uh, and I have been. Talk about working together again, possibly. I'd love to. Yeah, definitely. I mean, 
there's only like a few actors who can kind of get stuff financed. And so it's like, and Chris is one of the only girls who does it. So, I mean, I would love to. And also, there are so many parts where there's young female parts where Kristen's just like perfect for it. It's like, damn it. Like, you literally like, I mean, it's so um, easy to I'm reading to the Renesmee birth scene. Um, <laughs> um, I thought it was so cool. I, I think, I think that we really did try to go as sort of hardcore as we could. It's definitely not your typical birthing scene. I mean, it's it took two days to shoot and uh, two day labor. It was really hard. Um, but literally in the book, as in the book, you know, there's this part where I'm sure you guys all know. Uh, she's literally choking on blood that she's been drinking and like just out of her mind. Like, you know, because it, you've, you've got, I, it was always in my head that I mean, she's able to fight harder than any human really would be able to because of a little bit of that in her, literally. <laughs> no, now I'm like really embarrassed. <laughs> um, but uh, uh, anyway, so, and also, it, 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 at that very part too, you get to see, and I got to play with uh, having venom run through your veins and start to feel, um, start to feel just like the hell that that is and um, and that's after a moment of like sheer exuberance of looking at your baby for the first time and, and actually being able to like have a moment of like calm breath and then like out of the worst birth violent crazy hellhole into the next most un like even worse so that was fun I, I was I was excited about that yeah. <laughs> thank you Pleasantly surprised by your back muscles in the trailer. I am and, um, <laughs> I think I can speak for all of us when I say yum yum yum. <laughs> My question is actually for Kristen. After all these years, you finally got to experience <coughs> vampire makeup. And I wanted to know what that was like for you, and if Rob's whining was justified, or if he was just being a big baby. <laughs> so, so justified. I mean, you do feel so locked in there all day, although it helps too, like, you, you're so much more conscious the of cast you. cast with beautiful women such as Kristen, Nikki, and Ashley. <laughs> It's crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> uh, now that's the first time that's ever been asked at one of these conventions. That's not true. I always get asked this every year. Really? Yeah. I always get asked it at some point. And what do you say? <laughs> <laughs> like, it's like a few. Oh God. Every every way uh, you can approach this answer is, seems either kind of. Inappropriate, or uh, <laughs> or just plain wrong. <laughs> so, take Lee on through. <laughs> it's great. It's really nice being surrounded by hot girls all the time. It's the best thing ever. That's why I became an actor. <laughs> Good answer. Do you like having a baby with Bella? <laughs> For some reason, you're, the look on your face looks like you're really asking something else. <laughs> And, and she has no idea what you're I don't think, I don't think um, <laughs> No, I do. It's, I, I really like babies, embarrassingly, for a guy. Why well, I don't know if that's embarrassing. I do really like them. And I like doing scenes with them, too. Um, but uh, it was really fun. It was kind of... Especially in this series as well. You kind of... You know, you're playing this sort of statue, statuesque guy most of the time. And as soon as you have a baby, no one can be hard anymore. They can't be... They can't... Uh, contain their emotions, which is what Edward's been doing the entire time. You have a little baby in your hand, so it's kind of, uh, it makes everything more human, inevitably. And also babies just do, just in terms of acting with it, they, uh, they just do their own thing. And so you kind of, it's, it's more fun to just, you know, you're basically improvising as soon as you have a baby in your hand, um, which is, yeah, it's really fun. I loved it. Thank you. <laughs> no, no, I mean, I'm just but saying, I would, definitely I would be open to the idea, I'd be really curious to see what it was. Is there going to be something that we can hold? And he did it, like, he's, it's, it, he totally did it, I think. 
we did it. <laughs> no, like, uh, and also the end. Uh, I think I think fans can expect something very, very emotional, yeah. like a bit of a wrap up. And it's like, I mean, I've seen it four times, and I cry every time. It's. it's <laughs> I just made up on the spot and during the scene, so I hope I hope that uh, that did that kind of you know kind of. Kristen's best kiss anyway. <laughs> she always just kissed me. I've always just been, I just be like, <laughs> I just receive. Yeah. I just receive pecs. Totally. So tell me, does Stephan yeah, Stephanie is Stephanie? that you all found particularly challenging or difficult? Hmm. Did you say fiscal or physical? <laughs> physical. <laughs> um, <clears throat> how do you have, like, because we're, you know, we're supposed to have mind-boggling, otherworldly sex. <laughs> in the first, in the first, in, in Breaking Dawn 1, and so, and, 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 and like, we really, <sighs> this is weird. <laughs> uh, tried to keep the first one, like, sweet. It was, like, really, like, just about, like, discovery, and, and like, it was so not, ra like, nothing about this series is raunchy, and I know that, and I, I, I but, <laughs> but um, no, but in, you missed but, the point, Kristen. <laughs> shut the fuck up. But in the but in the second one, um, <laughs> where's Mackenzie's swear jar? Yeah, yeah it's, it's fine. I'll just so fun, I'll just open a hospital. Talking about <laughs> sex and swearing. But in the second one, we just wanted it to be anim we, it's animals. You're not humans anymore. It's like how do, uh, 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 yeah, how do you do that? We tried, and they told us that it was rated R, and we we're like. I'm gonna stop. <laughs> Reasons why it's great to be Edward Cullen. You have a great pea coat. You can kiss Kristen Stewart. I get to kiss Edward Cullen. I don't know what it's like kissing him. <laughs> His teeth are pretty sharp. Uh, it's, it's great. I like it. It's cool. <laughs> How's he as a kisser? Oh my god, so good. <laughs> it turns into like hell. Like all kisses do. How do women react in real life when you try to kiss them? I can't really remember. I haven't kissed anybody in ages. <laughs> we kiss, I just try and kill her all the time. And, and I so, love that. Like, I'm, She's a total sadomasochist, if you think about it. And I'm just gay. <laughs> Amazing romance um, on the screen. Is there anything off screen at all between you two? Did you fall in love with Kristen Stewart? Oh, yeah, she's amazing. Dazzle. It's all on purpose. <laughs> I can just decide when to. Could you fall for each other in real life? Ow! <laughs> Sexy face. <laughs> Please. That's a request, no question. <laughs> can you? Can you do it? I thought I was already doing it. <laughs> uh, um, uh, no, I need to get, you know, I can't, I can't, um, saturate the market too much. Robert in two words. In Portuguese. Who? <laughs> Why two? Why not just one? Or three? It's funny because I know, I know very well, better than anybody else, a version of Rob. I mean, like, in, because you have, like, a very complete experience making a movie. Like, you go through something with somebody or whatever. Um, and then that's like this separate little thing. Um, I don't feel like I know him very well. Uh, maybe, maybe, uh... He's such a great actor. He's just, just like, he's, how about good 
actor. <laughs> about yourself that most people don't know. Uh, I'm really cool. <laughs> <laughs> We're so lame. Oh my god, we cannot do that. <laughs> I, tell, I tell everybody every. The one thing people don't know is I tell everybody everything, all the time. People do know that because I keep telling them everything. I already, I've already repeated myself. I re start repeating myself to people who I met. This time. <laughs> <laughs> like, you gotta twilight, twilight Eclipse, and then what, like, Frankie Dawn. Like cereal boxes? Breakfast at brunch. No, I mean... Noon. I think the birth scene is, is kind of right, it's so different to, um, to everything else in the movie. And also, it, it, it's for a... Fantasy series that has kind of a youngish audience. I find it interesting. It goes quite far. It's quite, uh, it's quite hardcore. It's quite graphic. I mean, it was when we were doing it anyway. I mean, and I mean, it I was felt overtly graphic. Yeah, but there's no, there's no way to do it. I mean, if you read the book, it's like there's literally no way to do it in any kind of tamed way. So uh, it was, it was fun. It felt like it was brave. <laughs> That's cut. <laughs> no, it isn't. No, 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 no. no. This time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. Kristen. coughs> well, I, just, um, I don't think Kristen would see it as nerdy, but I, I guess I do. Um, <laughs> I, I think I'm always cool. <laughs> Chris, Kristen literally only watches the cooking channel, and uh, in and especially on set, it's bizarre having it. She has a TV in the makeup trailer. Which is always on. Uh, it was dismal it's a, times. It's, it's, her own, long shoot. it's her <laughs> only. It's her only diva-ish behavior. <laughs> having having the cooking channel on at all times in every, in every room. Really. And you all reap the benefits. <laughs> it's true. The whole series in the thing where in the book is almost every three pages, and like <laughs> so it's like how can I swim with it? Like maybe I can wear a t-shirt when I'm in the sea <laughs> or a onesie. Like, I don't know. <laughs> well, we're about to show there was You thing. probably want something like, you know, well, to do the love scene was weird because uh, having so many people on set. Was <laughs> we did, um, uh, there, so I was talking about the baby. I just talk of mood for some reason. Um, we had an animatronic baby for one bit. That was awkward. Which was <laughs> when we had to introduce, <laughs> I think it was your scene where you had to be introduced to, uh, to uh, oh, yeah. the baby for the first time. Yeah. And, like, and in the book, that is, wow, my God, like my favorite, one of my favorite parts. And then to know that you're not going to be looking at a child. And to see baby. literally Chucky from Child's Chucky. Play. Yeah. Yeah. Like, Chucky as me. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, and the guys like sweating right below in your eye line, trying to be like, <laughs> controlling oh, the baby. Get the hand up to touch your face, and then it sticks to your hair and pulls a little bit, and you're like, oh, get the thing off me. <laughs> Give me a baby. This is ridiculous. Oh. And it had hair, and it's a newborn baby. and. I know that that's in the book, and it, you can imagine how cool that would be, but... Oh, and if you've ever seen a, ba a baby with a wig on, yeah. <laughs> so that's, that's so pretty funny. Yeah, really oh. cool. They look like they're trolls on which you stick on any a pencil. Like, you know, those things. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you've been dating non-stop. I mean, non-stop. Literally non-stop, yes. Okay, good. True. You're dating one of your co-stars. Her name rhymes with Tristan Bluert. Um, uh, Tristan Bluert. There was a... Liston Hewitt. Okay, good. Year. So that would be true. Yes. Okay, you got engaged. Uh, yes. Okay, you were hit by a cab. Yes. You had a drug yeah, overdose. You do. <laughs> yeah. you, it was just. It was just. The director mm. was even nervous because mm. the first time you guys kind of they auditioned you together, or you, you would already had the part, but they ha they put you together to see the chemistry. Mm. There was immediate chemistry between the two of you. Yeah. Yeah, it was it's weird. Obvious. It's so weird. Like, t like actually being honest about this is like it's been so heavily consumed, and it's like I have this fear that people would assume that maybe I'm like, you know, it's kind of attention. Like, oh, cool, you're still like pushing that narrative or whatever. It's like, no, I've actually never been allowed to just say what happened, right? Because I was so self conscious about seeming like an attention seeker, like somebody who was like taking, trying to... Or taking advantage yeah, of, exactly. of the fact that you guys were dating and yeah. stuff. People, I mean, I we were together for years. That was like my first, you know... I, love. Yeah, I mean, like, I, I was super in love with my high school boyfriend. Super, super in love with him. But me and Rob were like a little older and it was just like, go gong. Um, but... He's a charming guy. I yeah, mean, he's I, the, he's I the best. Met, he's, he's really... He's the best. 
Was there a point you would have gotten married, do you think? I don't know. I wonder. <laughs> Imagine. I wanted to. Yeah, no. I mean, like, I think I've never if he been proposed, in proposed, any... you would have been, you would have gotten married. I don't know. I think I'm not like yes. a super duper traditionalist, but at the same time, I like, uh, yeah, everything I've ever, every relationship I've ever been in, I thought that this was it. it. I've never like casually, I mean, maybe one or two. Do okay, you think I'm not you'll giving get married? everyone that due, but like, I've never really been the most casual person, you know? Do you think you'll get married one day? Yeah, for that, sure. That appeals to you? Uh, like it never did. In, Hello, yes. I'm Robert. I'm Kristen. Uh, we had a lot of fun working on Twilight. Uh, this year, which comes out and dates in December? December. Just don't say this year. Just say we've had a lot of fun working on Twilight. I keep thinking that is part of the thing. This year, oh, this comes out in December. I hope you enjoy this clip. Exclusive.